Hey everybody, today we're going to forge a knife and make a handle for that knife out of paper towels. But you know, first it occurred to me that paper towels don't really have a voice in social media today. So I'd like to introduce Greg. He's a roll of paper towels and he is going to be reacting to the video today. Hello, Greg. Hey, I'm Greg. And I'll be weighing in on the criminal misapplication of pleated paper products you're about to witness oh, today. Uh, say, Greg, is, uh, is now a good time for this, to me to revisit this some other time? Oh, well, thanks for nothing, Steve. You live like a filthy animal. This place is a pigsty. You wouldn't believe what I have to do in the bathroom. Oh, I'm hurt real bad. But I'm coming to get you, Steve. Don't close your eyes at night. Don't close your eyes. Well, maybe we'll come back to Greg later. Let's heat up some steel and forge out a kitchen knife while I muster the physical strength and mental fortitude to make my carta handles, something I don't like doing. The knife is being forged with the help of a coal ironworks 16 ton press and some hand hammering. Let's take a quick one minute break and thank our sponsor, Surfshark. Thank you Surfshark for sponsoring this video. Surfshark is a VPN that not only helps you keep your information private on the internet, but can defeat content geo-blocking by granting you access to the internet through any of its 3,200 plus servers located all over the world in more than 100 countries. So not only does Surfshark encrypt your data as it leaves your device and hides your location from the many companies hungrily gobbling up everything about you and then storing that information until they sell it to the highest bidder, but it also helps you access certain smartphone apps, YouTube features, Netflix and other streaming content that are only available if you're located in certain countries. Here's me accessing Netflix through my normal internet connection here in the US where I can't watch Spider-Man Far From Home and then through a Surfshark server in Paris where Far From Home and even Into the Spider-Verse are both available. Many people do not know that the NSA gathers data from Google and Yahoo networks and data centers. Your data is stored in many billion dollar data centers, each millions of square feet in size around the world where it is packaged and sold. Do something about it. You can try Surfshark today by using my code BEETLE to get 85% off and three months extra for free by using the link in the description below. And we're back, that was painless. We'll just keep forging ahead.
I really like integral bolsters sometimes. It's just so easy to take care of the shoulders with a file guide on a grinder. And I do some touch up with a file afterwards, but it doesn't really take much. And I'm sure you could get away without doing that. Fifty two one hundred, so pretty. Honda the paper towels. So wouldn't it be cool if we got the pre printed pattern on the paper towels to show through in our handle? No. To do that we'll have to line up each individual sheet towel perfectly as we stack them on top of each other with the pattern in the exact same spot on each sheet. Towel. Now as we tear the sheets towels, you ignorant slut off, we see they don't really line up from piece to piece. And since I don't have the patience to completely cut out each piece one at a time so that everything lines up perfectly, we're just gonna abandon this idea. Now it's time for one of my least favorite things, corralling epoxy. All right, why is this looking so mucousy? Why is this translucent? What is going on? I'm worried. And I'm hoping against hope that this is going to dry white or at least not semi-translucent like uh, uh, mucus. and that really compressed down a lot. So this won't fit in my vacuum chamber. I'm gonna to have to pressurize it instead to see if I can vanquish any remaining bubbles. It's gonna go at 60 PSI for 24 hours and that should get it through the cure.
We still have mucus color. Why do we have mucus color? Give me that. <sighs> okay, let's put this under the microscope. There you go. It's me! Screw you, Steve! Your handle looks like snow! You know, so maybe it's still not fully cured, or maybe when we sand it down it'll change appearances. We're pretty much committed at this point, so I'm going to keep rolling. Titanium dioxide powder is going to be added to G-Flex epoxy to make it the same color as the handle in case it peaks out somewhere. I've traced the tang on the outside of the handle and given it an extra millimeter R2 on each side so that I'm sure not to grind into the tang slot while shaping the handle. This alumilite gets really hard. I like it. it. It shapes nice and sands well, so... You can see I put three layers of electrician's tape on the knife bolster and I sand right down to it. When the tape is removed, there's a nice even museum fit. No, oh, to add insult to injury, there are bubbles along the spine and right side. I'm not sure how they, how they got there. This was under pressure while it was curing, but I'm going to take some powdered handle from sanding and put it in there. And then I'm going to super glue over it with this Starbond CA glue and we'll see if it fills some of them in. You know, spoiler, it, it really doesn't. So there's, they're just sitting in there right under the surface. I mean, the handle's just not worth redoing. In fact, I'm going to knock it off later and do a redemption video <laughs> with a different material. And I've already got something cool in mind, so I can't wait to bring that to you guys. You guys still have a good one. Ooh, I'm hurt real bad. I'll be entering that eternal slumber soon. My eternal sleep. That's right. I'll just be a napkin. <laughs> but seriously, Steve, I'm putting a bounty on your head. Ugh. I hear bounty hunters are big and brawny, but sometimes they can also be charming. Eh? Lights dimming. Even though I'm on a roll, I'll be throwing in the towel. Eh.